Tonight on a WGN Investigate story we first broke more than a year ago, a South Suburban school worker has pleaded guilty to stealing one and a half million dollars worth of food, mainly chicken wings. Vera Liddell was the food service director for Harvey School District 152. Cook County prosecutors accused her of stealing massive amounts of food meant for take-home meals for students learning remotely during the pandemic. On Friday, Liddell entered a guilty plea and received a nine-year prison sentence. I remember uh, when that story first came out and uh, a lot of people were making jokes about it and everything. And, um, you know, I mean, but, you know, when you look at it, it's not really funny. Uh, but now, you know, she's been sentenced and, you know, some people are saying that nine years is too much time uh, for her, uh, to, I guess, to be going to prison. But I think when you look at this, first of all, we know that stealing is wrong. But when you look at the position that she was in at the time of the crime, she was the director of food services for the school district. So that meant she had the final say so um, as far as what got approved and what didn't get approved. And that food was supposed to be for the children, uh, the students. Um, and they, they never they never received that food. And, and, and that's the, the thing. When you're trusted with a position like that, you have to make sure that you, you watch everything that you do and uh, you, you have to be as detailed as possible when you're signing your name to something because you're going to be watched and, and ultimately what happens uh, on your watch while you're in that position, you're going to be held accountable for it. Um, but I, I believe this just came down to pure greed um, because I, I went and looked up what a food service director in Illinois makes on a zip recruiter. And it showed where um, a food service director in Illinois uh, makes what 63,000 a year. So she was doing pretty well, I think, you know, better than most people. But that's why I mentioned greed because she wasn't, um, I guess, happy with the salary that she was getting. And then she committed the crime and continued to do it. You know, we're talking about a span of two to three years and, I guess it never dawned on her that eventually what she was doing was going to raise some eyebrows. She placed hundreds of unauthorized orders to include 11,000 cases of chicken wings. And um, a mid-year audit revealed that the food service department exceeded its annual budget by over $300,000. So whoever conducted that audit, I mean, they probably, they probably were saying, like, what the hell are you ordering to where you're going over budget by that much. Um, it's, it's like she never heard of financial audits before or just didn't care or think that she would get caught. Um, but these audits and checks, you know, these audits are checks and balances that are in place for issues like this that prevent fraud, waste, and abuse. Um, is she the only one stealing? Probably not. And she won't be the last person to get caught up in something like this. But I think it's important to understand that when you're in charge of things like money, products, services, and resources that are not yours, you better make sure that you're doing the right thing and you better make sure that you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's. Uh, but don't let greed cloud your judgment because if you do, at some point you're going to be held accountable. And, and and just because you think that you got away with something maybe that, that day or for that whatever time, you know, that doesn't mean that um, – it's not going to come back and bite you in the ass. So now um, she's going to prison and, and more than likely she'll probably have to pay that, you know, pay back whatever she stole, you know, um, you know, I, I don't know, but this situation is just an example. I think of how one bad decision can lead to another bad decision and how those uh, bad decisions can, and can change the course of your life. Um, you have better things to do than to be going to prison over some damn chicken wings. I mean, she's what, 60, 68 years old. So she should have known better. So y'all take care, stay safe, make better choices. Peace y'all.